Hello everyone. I'm Manasvi. I'm a PhD student at the University of Washington and today I'll be talking to you about urban accessibility as a socio-political problem using a multi-stakeholder approach. Let's begin with some definitions. Urban accessibility has been studied across several different fields such as urban planning, uh, human geography, disability studies, urban sociology, and traditionally accessibility has been defined as interaction between humans and lands, and more specifically as the ease or difficulty for people to reach opportunities or services. It's also strongly tied to mobility, which looks at trip rates and proximity to destinations. But neither of these look at the physical or mobility differences across people, which is where disability comes in, which is the product of dynamic interaction of human and the environment. The socio-political model of disability act shifts the uh, focus from the individual to the broader social, cultural, and the economic political environment and which is the lens which we use in this paper to study this problem. Our focus is with people using some form of mobility aid, and we focused on pedestrian infrastructure, more specifically sidewalks, where we see issues such as missing curb ramps, surface issues, obstacles, and so on. We asked two big questions. The first is, what's the social political context of urban accessibility? And how do we enable change within this context? To break these big questions, we ask three specific questions that we study. What are the information needs and challenges for assessing and making decisions around urban accessibility and how do people use technology for doing it? Second, how do people uh, communicate and interact together to assess uh, priorities and make decisions? And third, where are the design opportunities to improve the existing practices around urban accessibility? To study these, we did an interview study with 25 participants across three cities where we uh, interviewed five stakeholder groups, asked them about uh, questions around assessment approaches and decision-making practices around accessibility. Our stakeholders included MI individuals and caregivers, accessibility advocates, and government officials such as policymakers and department officials. Each had their own perspectives. MI individuals cared more about safety and quality of physical access advocates represented people in need, they fought for their needs and rights, and they closely interacted with both the citizens and the government. On the government side, policymakers were responsible for developing laws and policies, they prioritized uh, and distributed resources equitably, and they managed fundings amongst different competing issues. While on the other side, department officials executed policies, made accessibility improvements, and they also did the groundwork of assessing the infrastructure as well as making repairs. Now across these stakeholder groups, we had findings across four categories. Today we focus on two, interactions between the different stakeholders and the challenges that occur, more specifically the socio-political challenges. City-scale decision-making happens amongst three uh, primary groups, policymakers, department officials, and advocates. Each have their own roles when they interact with each other, but they all come together for two main interaction goals, setting city agendas and priorities, as well as prioritizing investments. Now, during this process, we found several social, political, and economic challenges, such as lack of political will, lack of public interest, conflicting responsibilities and priorities, um, insufficient funding, inconsistent rec uh, regulations. We found that public disinterest can influence political will. A policymaker explains by saying that at the end of the day, it becomes a political discussion of how much money do we think citizens are going to vote for? How much would, they, how much would the population bear? So it becomes more of a political discussion rather than a policy one. Now, given these challenges, how do we um, enable change? What we found in most of these challenges is that the key or the underlying issue was either lack of interactions or communication failures. In order to better facilitate these interactions, 
we mapped out all of the interactions between our stakeholders in this interaction space, which visualizes both the similarities as well as the differences between the interactions and the differences in context within which it occurs. This allows us to specifically explore where civic tech can actually play a role to improve the cross-stakeholder communication. In our paper, we focused on two areas which needed strengthening within urban accessibility. One being improving community input and government feedback, which looked into how do we improve government feedback and increase transparency and as a result, sustain civic participation over time. And second, how do we support advocacy efforts? What types of tools do we need? What types of interactions do we need to improve in order to make their organizing efforts more efficient and more effective. For example, one of them was making data gathering more easier. For more details, please refer to our paper. This brings us to the end of our talk. I would like to thank my advisors, John Freilich and Je Jeffrey Hare, and my team for their tireless effort to get it to where it is. Thank you very much for listening to my talk. I'm happy to take any questions.